Hello friends, Brendan Murphy here from the depths of the Pixel Dump, and I have a new tool to show you today called PD Perspective Guide. If you've ever created a composite or matte painting, you know it's very important to match the perspective of the footage. This usually means setting up guides that allow you to find the vanishing points. Setting those up manually is surprisingly difficult, so we've made a tool that does it for you. Let's take a look. Now here I have a shot of some ruins in Cambodia. This would be a great candidate for some kind of set extension or matte painting. I'm going to use our tool over here, PD Perspective Guide, to help us out. And the very first thing I want to do is set up guide. Now you see these two red guide lines appear. And I'm going to start by aligning these along the Z axis. Technically you can set up as many of these as you want, but we're usually going to be concerned with vanishing points on the X, Y, or Z axis. I'm going to go up to the effect controls, and you can see I have some point controls here. When I go up and click on the line 1 start, you can see this node appear here. I'm going to grab it and begin aligning these nodes with the detail in the bricks, because those give us a lot of perspective clues. That should work okay for that one. And for the next line, I'm going to space it out a little bit, because the farther away they are, the more accurate the vanishing point will be. When that's all done, just make sure your guide is selected, and then go ahead and click Draw Guide. Kapow! You can see that it has created the guide for you instantly. We have a bunch of settings here we can use to customize the guide. For instance, we can change the color to something like blue, but I'm going to keep it red for now. You can change the line width like this. You can change the opacity in case you want the background image to show through a little more. You can also add and subtract lines if you want. This parameter is actually a multiplier. But for now I'm going to undo this and go with something more like this. You can see just how well these lines match the geometry of the building, even down here in the stairs. But if you do want to offset them for some reason, you have this grid rotation tool which allows you to rotate them around the vanishing point, just so they fall in a slightly different place. And we have a very useful tool here. If you check this box, you see that a thicker line appears to show you exactly where the horizon is based on this vanishing point, which can be very useful in some cases. I'm going to turn it off for now. Now that we have a guide along the z-axis, we could use one along x and y as well. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to set up another guide. You can see that this automatically creates a green guide this time, and I'm going to do the same thing as before, but along the y-axis. I'm going to go in and just look for the most prominent vertical features of the building. And then just like before, I'm going to select that guide, and then click Draw Guide. So something interesting has happened here. Because the lines I chose were nearly parallel, I've actually created parallel guides because these don't converge. There's no vanishing point. We have a lot of the same settings here. We can change the color, line width, and instead of a grid rotate, there's an offset to move the lines around. So it's important to note that the original lines I drew were probably not 100% parallel, but because they were very close to being parallel, they were treated as such. And there's a good reason for this. Lines that are nearly parallel could converge almost an infinite distance away. That kind of calculation would crash after effects and make everybody grumpy. The only kind of guide configuration that's really not supported by the current tool is a set of parallel diagonal guides. It's probably pretty rare that you'll come across the need for those, and if the lines are supposed to actually converge, just tweak them a little bit and try drawing again. So for my last guide, I'm going to create something along the x-axis, and I'll use this brick line here. Again, I'm going to try to make sure there's a little bit of distance between line 1 and line 2, just to make the calculation as accurate as possible. Then I'll select it and go to Draw Guide. And again, it's found our vanishing point, which is actually way off the comp here. To create this manually would just take a ton of time, because the vanishing point's way off the comp, there's no easy way to line things up and actually see what you're doing. I'm going to increase our lines here just to make sure that this is an accurate guide. 
and you can see that it really does line up with the features in the building, even this distant structure over here. Another thing I'll show you quickly is that you can actually set up all of these guides and then draw them at the same time. So I'll delete the ones we just made and then do setup guide, setup guide, setup guide. I'll skip forward since you've already seen the alignment process. Then I can select all three and do draw guide. And all guides are done at one time and maintain their original positions in the comp. So that is it everybody. As always, please check out some of our other tools and I hope you enjoy this really fast way of creating your perspective guides. Take care and we'll catch you next time at the Pixel Dump.